Okay, so for me, when when I'm trying to teach regex, I think the tricky part for people to learn is just what does this stuff mean? All this chicken scratch and tic tac toe and all that, it, you know. And and then in some cases, regex can even be, you know, unique to the language that you're using it in, right? So Perl regex versus PowerShell regex versus Python regex versus, you know, pick your poison, right? So I'm not saying that you'll never run into that, but for the most part, there's only a couple of things that I look for with regular expressions. First thing that I look for is, do I see the caret? And do I see the dollar sign? So the caret just means it starts with this, and the dollar sign means it ends with this. So the best way to get really rolling here is, well, whatever I'm dealing with starts with this, ends with this, and it has these couple of things in it, right? So the next thing is, well, is there a word boundary? So let's say I'm looking at some text here. Well, I'm picking a word boundary and I'm looking for anything that's in the brackets. Okay, so the um, what I was saying was you've got your word boundary You've got um, the what's inside of the brackets. That's actually what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for anything that's a capital A to a capital Z, a lowercase a to a lowercase z, a zero to nine, a period, underscore, a period, a percent sign, and a dash. If it's any, that's really all you're looking for, right? Just the word boundary, what's in the brackets is what I'm looking for. Anything that's capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, period, underscore, uh, percent sign, and a dash. Anything that's a word boundary, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now, then after that, not in the brackets, not in the brackets, I'm looking for an at sign. Back in the brackets, I'm looking for, you know, pretty much anything. Now, you're going to say, well, I'm now looking for a period. I'm putting a slash because I want to escape it. And now I'm looking for some letters that range from A to Z, but it can be two to four characters and then that ends the word boundary. Okay, so that's actually a regex, regular expression, for an email address. So think about what you're saying, right? You're saying, hey man, I'm looking for, it starts with a word, right? So it's a word, literally it's a word, so there's probably a space in front of it, right? A, you know, but... Um, so it's going to be some letters, numbers, a period, underscore, percent sign, and a dash. There's going to be an at sign in the middle of it. See that? Then it's going to have some more letters and numbers. Then there's going to be a period in the middle of it. Then there's going to be letters, and it can be from two to four letters, and that ends the word boundary. So that's a pretty good, pretty good regex for an email. So what happens is you're seeing that I pull down three blocks of text. I pull down an emails file, an IP addresses file, and a URLs file. 
and what we do is the input is the file the output is extracted of that file then we hit it with the regex and then we say okay select the string that comes from the input path that has this pattern find all the matches and output it to what we're calling the file name this way we can take content find all the matches that match our regular expression which in this case is email addresses but you'll see that we do the exact same thing for IP addresses exact same thing for IP addresses exact same thing for URLs exact same thing and then in here you see how we explain what each one of those things are what's the input path what's the output path what's the regex you know what all this is so I don't want you to be so so worried you know once people start getting past regexes then like that's really kind of it all the ninja-ness of PowerShell is done bro right look you can you can interact with the file system you can interact with the registry you can interact with services and you can use regexes right so that's for complex pattern matching if you can do those things then you can pretty much do anything you want